Iowa's strict abortion law now in effect. It bans most abortions in the state after just six weeks. That is before many women know they're pregnant. The law bans abortions after a heartbeat can be detected in the fetus. There are limited exceptions in cases of rape, incest, or when the life of the mother is in danger. The law was temporarily blocked until Iowa's Supreme Court ruled in June there is no constitutional right to an abortion in the state. President Biden set to pay his respects to late Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee today, lying in state at City Hall in Houston. The longtime lawmaker died this month at the age of 74 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. Vice President Kamala Harris is slated to visit Houston later this week for Lee's funeral. A mess inside a car in Connecticut can be blamed on a group of bears. An adult bear and a cub were able to get into the car, but the animals couldn't get out, so they trashed it. Police were able to get the bears out safely, but not before they wrecked this car. Officials believe they got in by opening the door, but they're not sure how they got it closed. Now to a picturesque beach day in Rhode Island. Interrupted, not by sharks. Yeah, those are dragonflies swarming, sending people running under tents and towels. Experts say the bugs are starting their migration. It starts in July. It continues through October. The large groups move south from Canada towards northern U.S. and then into the Gulf of Mexico. Check out this sweet reunion at a medical center in Maryland. Ten years ago, a nurse found out one of her patients had to surrender the cat, so she adopted the cat. Well, fast forward to last week, the nurse ran into the same patient and still had her cat, Papa Bear. So she called her husband, who brought him to the hospital for a visit. The nurse says Papa Bear immediately recognized his previous owner. He hopped into her lap and started purring. That's nice.